The scent and the delicate sound of the boiling ragu are my childhood memory of Sundays with my family. It was wonderful to step into the kitchen for breakfast while being immersed in the happy atmosphere of when you are getting prepared for a party, the family lunch, and the sauce, which was already boiling in the early morning, spread its reassuring scent. If Ragu could speak, it would tell thousands of stories about Italian families. There are many varieties of ragù. The most famous is a bolognese, a rich ragù made with many varieties of meat and porcini mushroom. But today I will prepare my family's recipe, the best known version. The first thing we will do is to mince the others for the sauté. Uh, I will use a grater to shred well. I don't like the mixer that reduces everything to a cream. I chop a white onion. Then a carrot. A small stick of celery. And half a garlic or a small garlic such like that. I put everything to fry over low heat in a pot in which I put four tablespoons of olive oil. After about three minutes, it is almost ready, when we see that the odors start to brown, I put the minced beef and the sausages inside. I mix well. And with the help of a ladle, I try to cut the meat into small pieces. I begin to add the salt, pepper, and cinnamon, the secret of my family. And I continue to cook, raising the flame a little so as to brown the meat. When the meat begins to brown a little, I add a scarce glass of wine. I let the wine evaporate and then add the tomato paste and tomato sauce. I added as much water as tomato sauce, a pinch of salt and a pinch of sodium carbonate. The second secret of my family. It helps to mitigate the acidity of tomatoes.
Meanwhile, I remind you that ragu can be frozen or it can be stored in airtight jars suitable for bain-marie, like these Italian Quattro Stagioni by Bormioli, which I will boil for half an hour to let all the oxygen out and to leave it in the pantry up to six months. And after this time, the ragu is ready. What can we do with the ragu? We can use it as a sauce for fettuccine, pappardelle, lasagne or other types of pasta. The ideal would always be egg pasta and possibly handmade. Do you remember our video on how to prepare delicious fettuccine? It takes very little time and it will guide you step by step on how to prepare fettuccine. In the meantime, I move forward and I cut the fettuccine for our first course today. Always remember to set aside some cookie water which is rich in starch and which will be useful for whipping. I have just a little hint for you. If left over, fettuccine with ragu are delicious also heated in a pan. A real treat. Try it.
And now we are ready to sit to table. While enjoying your fettuccine and tasting this authentic Italian flavor, please remember to subscribe to our channel. I look forward to seeing you for the next recipe here on Scola la Pasta, the Italian way of making food.